After 15 hours from San Francisco, we made it to Doha, Qatar. We have a 15 hour layover. So instead of camping out in the seats and waiting area, we decided to book their airport hotel, specifically Oryx Airport Hotel. It's kind of expensive, but I booked it with points. So we only pay like 40 bucks. this morning before catching our connecting flight to Nepal at 9.25. About about 30 minutes before we're gonna be checking out uh, the Oryx Airport Hotel. We're gonna be leaving Doha, Qatar to be connect, um, continuing our flight to Nepal. But we decided to do some currency exchange here instead of waiting till we get to Nepal. And this is how their currency looks like. It's the Nepali rupees with their biggest to note being a 1,000, which is like equivalent to $10 in the US.
after like two flights and a layover in Doha, Qatar, Tina and I finally made it to Kathmandu, Nepal. She's right over here. I'm so tired. We're just very jet lagged and just tired. But the reason we're here in Nepal is because we're going to be doing the Langtang Valley Trek. Um, and we're here for 14 days, but of those 14 days, uh, I believe seven days are actual trekking. And the rest, we're just gonna use it to recover uh, before our flight going back home. So the person who came to pick us up at the airport was surprisingly our trekking guide who's going to be um, accompanying us during the trek once we start on Saturday. They greeted us with these flower garland, which is actual like real flowers. Um, so they brought us to the hotel that we're going to be staying at for a couple nights and it was called Hotel Thamel Park. It's like literally right in the like heart of the city. Um, along with the trekking guide, also the CEO came to greet us too and gave us like a quick rundown recap of what the itinerary is going to be like for the next seven days um, and gave us like the opportunity to ask any questions or any clarifications and the actual trekking itself we're not going to start until Sunday initially we would have started on Saturday but we had asked for the agency uh, to change the itinerary a little bit so we wanted to stay in an extra day in Kathmandu just to adjust ourselves to the time zone um, and to rest and recover from our flight. So tomorrow will be day two and we're just gonna take that entire day to just explore Kathmandu. A little quick tour of the hotel we're sleeping at. It's pretty standard, but it's nice. So two twin beds, little coffee bar mirror and then the bathroom it's just standard we came to have dinner at their rooftop restaurant and this girl ordered <laughs> decides to order <laughs> korean food <laughs> when you're in nepal oh my gosh Baby bubble, that's, what I that's okay um i, need some I decided to try their what was it? I think I tried one of their traditional dish. I'm I'm trying the the kima noodle. I don't know what that is, but hopefully it's good. Yeah, so culturally oriented. Came all the way. Whatever pepper they use in this dish, it's like hella spicy, crazy. This is like their kima noodle dish. Tina with her. Um, Bimbi <laughs> Gosh, this one's like hella hot. Day two of Nepal. We woke up this morning to get some coffee. We're just scouting the city area. We're gonna be getting some Momo. We decided to get the chicken and the pork. And also the chicken curry with rice. Okay, so we got our momo dumplings. This is like a very traditional Nepali dish. So we got the chicken, a five piece of the chicken, and then also got a five piece of the pork. So we ordered some chicken curry with rice. Gonna try this out. Mm -hmm. 